In recent years, graffiti in the Bayou City has gone from an underground art form to almost mainstream cool. Today, vibrant, eye-catching works are popping up all over Houston's landscape. Back in the late 80s and early 90s, especially here in Houston, it still wasn't considered as an art form. It was, it was all automatically just lumped in with gang-related activity. Gonzo 247 is one of Houston's most famous and prolific artists. From the moment he tagged his first wall, he was hooked, and his desire to create still motivates him today. I was just this kid with a can of paint and kind of this idea of wanting to become an artist. And uh, to go from that point to now where we have, you know, walls that are sanctioned by the city. What was once considered vandalism has now become a full-fledged movement that is both supported by the city and property owners to national recognition. You know, Houston is just now on that cusp of, of being on the radar of other artists as far as being a destination for street art. I can tell you right now that I, I've seen it all. What's happening now is, is we're, we're really at the pinnacle of, of what's happening in today's Houston street art scene. With more local artists on the scene than ever before, the boom in this colorful genre is just getting started. That's what I love about where we're at is that you still have the, the renegade artists that continue to, to keep it on the underground. I think that Houston's finally got to a point where we have a good mix of, of art on the street. On Houston's east side, Ruben Dominguez, Fox 26 News.